Welcome back to The Watchman and welcome back to Jerusalem. What if I told you that there was an amazing new device that is helping to bring sight to the blind? And what if I told you that this groundbreaking technology is made right here in Israel? Get ready to witness the life-changing power of Israeli innovation. What I have in my hand, what I'm holding here, is called the Orcam My Eye 2 artificial vision device. This is the world's most advanced wearable assistive technology device for people who are blind, who are visually impaired, or have reading difficulties. With this device, a great deal of independence is returned to the lives of our users. Uh, what this device can do is instantly communicate all sorts of visual information by audio, such as text, faces, colors, uh, money notes, and products. The World Health Organization estimates about 350 million people in the world are either blind or severely visually impaired. So we set out to develop a device, a very easy to use, intuitive device that involves very sophisticated AI technology that will empower these people who are in need of understanding the world around them. It's our second generation device, about the size of my finger, very lightweight, it weighs uh, 0.8 ounces, which is 22.5 grams. In front here we have a camera. On the flip side, we have a small speaker for audio. This side over here is a touch sensitive area where you can tap and swipe for different kinds of operation. And Orcam My Eye is a wearable device. And the most natural way we develop to wear Orcam My Eye is on almost any pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses. So on this pair of glasses right here, I have a magnetic mount. I have two little magnets on the device. I just snap it on and I'm ready to start using it. Reads any printed or digital text, newspapers, books, restaurant menus, signs, product labels, computer and smartphone screens, all become accessible to you in an instant. Recognize faces, real-time So what you just heard and witnessed uh, took us many years to, uh, to create, to get to this point, but in a very seamless fashion. What happened is I pointed to the text, heard a beep, took my finger away, or Cam snapped a photo, and remember where I placed my finger, and one line above there started reading the text, converting the text to audio in real time. And if I didn't use a stop yesterday to stop it, or Cam would have gone down to the whole page over here. Our device looks at a newspaper, and you can open a newspaper, and it sees thousands of letters, and they're tiny, and we have to very quickly go over the whole visual field, figure out where are the letters, and each letter, which letter is it? and combine them into words and sentences and paragraphs and start reading. And you know, when I finish reading here, I have to jump to the next paragraph. There's also people with dyslexia, which is, again, hundreds of millions of people that they can figure it out roughly, but you know, it becomes a jumble of, uh, of details. And we worked very, very hard to create technology that enables a device, and a device that is the size of your finger, to do it in a split second. We see it from our customers again and again, the joy they have of, oh, I can finally read, and not technically read as we used to think about it, but I can finally understand what's going on. We have uh, quite a few students here in, uh, in Israel that use our device, and uh, we have, I think we accomplished uh, two masters and one PhD that use this device to read lots of text and study and learn and, and be creative and fulfill their dream of getting higher education. A kid with low vision needs to look at a friend, at a peer, and know who they are. And uh, in, we all, so we added this functionality as well. So this device, if you look at a friend, it'll tell you their name. If it's a new person, you can teach in about 10 seconds it takes to teach a new, a new person. And as soon as they come into sight, they, the device will tell them the name. We have a, a customer who tweeted, I've never met him, but he tweeted, uh, ever since I got uh, the My Eye, I, uh, I started trying other types of food and apparently he had only ty one type of frozen food in his freezer and he would take it out, he knows, he puts it five minutes in the, fr in the microwave, opens it and he knows what to expect. But now that he can read, he can get something out of the freezer, figure it out, what it is, know how, how to prepare it and prepare different types of food. And this is everyday quality of life for people that you can't get in any other way. Coming up, it's the ultimate symbol of the theme of today's show, tragedy to triumph. Find out what it is 
after the break and get ready to be inspired.